Hello, my Lavender and Love family and also my YouTube family. Um, I'm just recreating this video of a project I did last summer. Uh, the first time I did this video was my very first video. I was nervous. My voice was shaky. YouTube deleted part of the music, so I'm just redoing it for you guys. Uh, but I, I had bought this framed, um, this framed picture from Goodwill, and I wanted to redo it and make it mine. So I'll kind of show you the process. Um, I felt that the frame did need something, so I wanted to add a little more detail. So I took my silicone molds from Iron Orchid Design and some air dry clay. And I just kind of figured out which mold I wanted. I just wanted to add a little more detail on the inner frame. So I pulled those molds out and then I just used tacky glue. I brushed it on the back of the molds with a paintbrush and then I stuck it where I wanted it. As you can see here. And in the corners. And then I let this dry overnight too. I wanted that um, that air dry clay to dry as well as uh, the glue. So the next day when everything was dry, um, then I decided to work on the glass. So I took the picture out, I flipped it over, uh, the whole frame over and I removed the picture and then I took some vinegar and water in a spray bottle and I just kind of spritzed over the glass and then over those droplets I sprayed mirror effect spray paint once that was laid down then I took a paper towel and I just kind of blotted the bubbles because the spray paint um, kind of created a bubble over that vinegar and water droplets and that effect gives me this mercury kind of looking aged glass, which I really, really liked. And then I just took some paint and I just kind of stipled it over the entire back piece. So if you could see through any of the glass, you would see some color. And then I flipped the whole frame back over and I painted the frame white. And I did feel it was a little too bright than what I wanted, so I decided to age it. Um, so this is where I'm going to use my clear wax from DIY as well as DIY decrepit powder, which is really, really fun to use and I love using it to age things. So the first step when you use uh, the decrepit powder is you want to grab some clear wax. I have used the shipwreck uh, wax as well, the teal color, and that turns out really, really cool. But for this project, I use clear wax, took a paintbrush and I just worked it down and all that detail, all those little nooks and crannies. Uh, made sure I got it in because that's going to help the dark and decrepit powder that I'm putting on now adhere um, into those small little spaces. But it's also going to allow me to wipe back that dark and decrepit powder off the high points or anywhere that I do not want it. So first the clear wax, work that in, and then I was working the dark and decrepit powder in. And I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm just wiping back um, any of that that powder that I you know off of the areas that I don't want it and then it just leaves it down on those crannies and ages it it looks really cool so there's before and after and here's one of the corners before and after And I did do the whole frame, so as you can see, um, I basically just got in every little nook and cranny of the frame. And that's what it looks like all together, the, you know, the, the glass that, that we did, and then the frame as well. And then, um, on the front of it, I took the Astoria transfer, also from Iron Orchid Design. This is a paintable transfer that they have, um, so you can, you can not paint it, or you can paint it, which is kind of cool, and I decided to paint it. So I just put the transfer on top of the front, or the front side of the glass, and then once that was down, then I got to painting. So uh, this was probably the longest in this process, was to hand paint everything. Um, I just kind of worked on it a couple hours here and there after work, but it took a couple days. But it turned out great, and I absolutely love it. So. Um, yeah, and then as soon as this was done, then I hung it in my kitchen, and now it's a really good accent piece and kind of a conversation starter as well. 
But if you guys have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can follow me on my Lavender and Love page on Facebook. Um, and then give me a message there and I can answer any questions. But this was definitely a fun project. And I love turning just ordinary glass into, you know, distressed, weird looking things. So there you go. Have a great day, guys. Bye.